imperative that we state that any attempt to stretch the mandate of EI 63 to justify this latest directive on SIM cards is grossly misplaced. Section 100 of the Electronic Communications Act 2008, Act 775, which forms the basis for EI 63, imposes a liability on the service providers to furnish the president with details of registered devices. This duty does not extend to the customers of the service providers. It is in our considered opinion that this attempt to compel and threaten Ghanaians with deactivating their SIM cards come March 2022 is an unfortunate affront to the right of Ghanaian citizens. This new directive by the Minister for Communications and Digitalization is akin to the Bank of Ghana issuing a fiat that all bank accounts will be closed in six months if account holders do not link their bank accounts to their Ghana cards. After all, the NIA Act and LI2111 also mandate that bank accounts need to be backed by Ghana cards. It is also an inconceivable scenario that the Passport Office of Ghana under the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which is also mentioned in LI211, would issue a statement that all passports must be revalidated or become void after six months if, the, the, if a few holders have been found to have falsified the documents, the source documents for acquiring the passport like the birth certificate. If you realize that a few people have falsified documentation in acquisition of a particular national ID, you don't invalidate all the national IDs. What you try to do is to clean up the system. And so what we are saying is, take for example, if you are saying that the last registration that was done, that's the argument of the ministry, that some people used fraudulent national ID cards to register their SIM cards. That should not mean that all 32 million active SIM card holders in Ghana today, or all 32 million SIM, active SIM cards, the holders must go through a re-registration. Identify those whose cards are fraudulent because you can do that using the Ghana card registration database, the NIA database. You can do that using the EC voter database. You do that using the SNIT database and do that using the DVLA database. These are, and even the national health insurance, these are all biometric databases that we are synchronizing in the country. So you can do a cleanup of that data. There is no need for all of us to re-register. It is these scenarios that show you how ludicrous it sounds that to deal with some instances of fraudulent acquired SIM cards, by unscrupulous persons, it would demand that all SIM card holders must go back to register their SIM cards. This is simply not a pragmatic approach. The claim that linking a SIM card to the Ghana card will prevent fraud is flawed and very untrue. It is unscientific and is not backed by, by, by the evidence that exists.